goosebumps every time I need the high Throw that to the side yo. I get those goosebumps every time Okay, so first what you want to do is you want to go to getpaint.net and then once you're on the website, um, just click get it now and then click download now and then go to free download now. I already have it installed so uh, I don't need it. And then after that, um, there's going to be a link to uh, paint.net plugins that you need to install and then there's also going to be a video on how to install paint.net plugins. So check the description for that. And once you've installed paint.net and all the plugins, uh, you can just open up paint.net, go to file, open, and then look for the banner template. This banner template is going to be in the description below. I suggest that you use it for this tutorial. So then just click open. And then after that, go to layers right here in the bottom right corner, add a new layer, and then move this below the black bars like that. And then after that, uh, look for an image you want to use. I'm going to use something from Overwatch. I'm going to use Genji. Uh, okay. And I'm just going to look for an image on Google. Uh, this is the picture I used in the example. So then I'm just going to right click and then copy the image. Go back into paint.net. And then make sure layer 2 is selected. And then press Control V. And then uh, just left click and then drag it. You can move it around. I'm going to put it somewhere like right here. And then once you're done positioning it, just deselect it. And then go back to Chrome. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing. Just look for another image at this time. I'm going to use this image. I'm going to right click, copy it, go back into paint.net. And then this time, just add a new layer above layer 2. Like that. Press Control V. And then make sure, uh, just make sure this is above the image, like that, slightly. And then just deselect it once you're done positioning it and then it should look like this there's gonna be this line in the middle in the middle and we're gonna get rid of that in a second so then uh, after that select uh, the the top image so then it's the second image you use that's on top of the first image go to your eraser tool right here and then make sure your brush width is at least 500 I'm gonna use 800 and then bring down your hardness all the way down to 0% and then where this line is uh, make sure the second layer is selected the one with the image on top and then make sure the circle is barely touching the line right here and then just left click and then just drag and then just start erasing it it should get rid of the line like that it gives it this cool effect which makes it look like these two images are like one image together like uh, continuously I don't know how to put it but yeah once you're done with uh, the erasing just merge the layer and then it turns into one image like that after that go to like uh, layers again and then add a new layer and then after that go to your text tool and then just left click anywhere on your screen and then just type in your name and then write to me taco and then uh, choose a font you want to use. I'm going to use Chinese Rocks RG like in my example. The, uh, the download to the font will be in the description below by the way. And then make sure your font is readable so then change the font size. And then position it anywhere right now. After that, uh, go to your magic wand tool. And then hold shift. Make sure the text layer is selected. Hold shift and then just left click on any letter. And it should select everything, like it should be highlighted. And then make sure your primary color is white. And then make sure your second secondary color is black. Go to your gradient tool. Uh, go to go to the top of your text, and then just left click and then drag down, like that. And then deselect it once you're done with the gradient, and then it gives it this cool effect. After that, go to effects object and then uh no go to effects photo and then low and then i'm just gonna uh play with the settings a bit uh i like to put it around negative 60 and then press ok and then go to effects again uh my paint on it is a bit slow go to effects object and then drop shadow and then make sure your shadow color is black by just dragging it down. We're changing the RGB to zero, like everything. 
and then uh, you can mess around with this. Just don't change the shadow opacity, offset Y or offset X. Uh, you just mess around with the blur radius and widening radius. Uh, I'm just gonna do something like this. I'm gonna leave the blur radius at default, which is five, and then bring up the uh, widening radius, and then click OK, like that. After that, go to Effects, Object Align, and then Center Both. Uh, all it does is it just centers it right in the middle, like that. And then after that, go to your uh, background image again, and then go to Effects, Blur, and then go to Gaussian Blur or something. Um, you don't have to use Gaussian Blur. You can also use like any other blur. I just like using Gaussian Blur make the blur like 15 like that and then click OK and then I'd say you're done right now so then if you want to save it just go to file save as and then save it anywhere on your computer uh, you can save it as a JPEG or PNG the default is paint.net which I do not suggest uh, saving it as so then just save it as a JPEG or PNG and then name it whatever you want I'm just gonna name it to me uh, banner like that click save click OK click flatten and you're done so thank you guys for watching if you guys want more tutorials then I suggest uh, subscribing and then leaving a like too so that's all I have to say and peace out